Ooh, what is going on guys, Op here. If you're just noticing that the audio is not matching up with the video, it's because I am recording after the fact. And that's because when I was recording this, I got a little excited that I was going on to the next level. I forgot to turn on my microphone and I decided to drink while I was doing this so that it would be more likely that I would get scared and I turned up the audio in my headphones. And I might actually get to one of those jump scares and lose. Now, the problem is I was still too good at this game and none of that really happened. But it was still really good gameplay because I was genuinely afraid uh, with all of these different factors. So instead of you hearing me uh, actually in the gameplay, uh, I want to use this time to, you know, kind of fill up that space and tell you a story. It's going to be a funny story. At least I think it's funny. So if you're going to be watching this video, I want to provide you with at least some sort of commentary. Alright, here we go. In high school, when I was a senior, we went on our senior trip. Now, me and my whole class, the class was pretty small, maybe like 12, 13, maybe 15 people. Okay, and then we went on our trip. We went to Florida. Uh, from here, Louisiana. We went to a bunch of different places. We went to Disney World. We went to Universal Studios. And then one day... We go canoeing. I had never been canoeing before, so I mistook canoeing for kayaking. So I was thinking we were going to do like the extreme sports, going over rocks and shit with the thing. But no, no, no. A canoe is not the same as a kayak. Okay, but a canoe, we're just going on, you know, we were just in a river, you know, sitting in our boat, you know, just going in a straight line with minimal turns and whatnot. That sort of thing. I'm trying to find a partner to get in a canoe, and this guy named Lo, my friend Lo, we call him Lo, his name's Lawrence, but they call him Lo, uh, he's with his dad. Now, why did he bring his dad on a senior trip with him? I would think you would want to be a senior and on your senior trip to get away from your family so that you can, you know, be around your friends and that sort of thing. But no, he brings his dad, and he's going to get in the boat with his dad. I decide I'm going to go ahead and get in the boat with Lo. We're all black. And it seems like, you know, it would be kind of cool because, you know, him and his dad were kind of cool with each other. I was kind of cool with Lowe. Not really anymore. But anyway, we get in the canoe. We sit down and we try to and we try to go. The canoe won't go forward. It's just been sitting in the water and we're trying to go forward. And the best thing I can think to do is to push it with my butt with the leverage that I have and just move it forward. It's so heavy because we got me, his big ass dad, and Lo all in there at the same time. You know, I'm pretty heavy, his dad's pretty heavy, and then, you know, there's a third person. So we start getting going, and as we're going, we start to flip over a few times. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times. Over the course of the whole thing, I think we probably flipped over about ten times. One of the times that we flipped over, Lowe's dad has this Bluetooth on his ear, and he doesn't know that there's a possibility that the canoe can actually flip over. So he's got his Bluetooth in his ear, and we flip over, and he gets up, and his Bluetooth is missing. So he's like, where's my Bluetooth? Is it floating? Where is it at? And we just couldn't find the damn thing. So finally, we just decided to leave all of our electronics on the thing. And I had a camera I was supposed to return to Best Buy, so I decided to leave that before we even got in the canoe. So I was glad I did that. But that's not the funny part. It's what happened on the way that just made everything so funny. We realized it was too heavy, so we switched canoes with... Um, we switched canoes with my teacher and his dad. So uh, our teacher uh, weighed less than his dad. So uh, I got to control the canoe for a little while. And then I got to sit at the back. So our teacher is at the front of the canoe. I'm at the back of the canoe. Lowe's in the middle just chilling, watching everything happen. Eventually, my teacher and Lowe switch positions. Now, Lo hasn't done this the whole time we've been sitting in the canoe. Lo, start, if you're at the front, you're directing where you're going. Lo decides to go a little faster down the stream. And we start coming up to these branches. Well, he starts going, and there's some trees. Well, Lo's skinny, and he's a little bit low to the ground. I mean, low to the canoe. And I'm at the back, sitting on the back. I'm up high. 
this branch comes in my way. And I'm like, low, 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 low. It was like a sitcom, basically. Low, 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 low. And this branch hits me dead in my chest. And I fall off the canoe with this stab wound in my chest from this branch. And the boat flips over, the canoe. And there's a motherfucking alligator sitting right there looking at us trying to get back into this fucking canoe. Now this alligator looks hungry. He's just sitting there. Sitting there on that grass on this on this on the on this uh marshland. And you can't really stand up on the land because it's marshland. It's like soft stuff. If you tried to stand up on it, it would basically be just really, really mushy and you would just fall right back into the ground. So I don't know why you would try to stand up on it because there's a motherfucking alligator right there. But we fell right next to the alligator. And it's like, okay, low, low, bruh, we need to flip this thing over. We need to get the hell up out of here. He's like, what you talking about? There's a motherfucking alligator right there. He goes, ah! So... <laughs> Lo gets back in the canoe after we flip it over, you know, and then I get my ass in there, and, you know, I'm the heavier person, so it's a little harder for me to get in there, but we finally get in. There's only one way to go to get out of where we're at. It's to go left. The alligator's sitting on the left side where we need to go. Lo starts turning the canoe right. I'm like, Lo, there's nothing over there. We cannot turn right. He's like, but there's a motherfucking alligator over there. I'm like, shut up. Just go. We need to go. That alligator didn't move one time. I think it might have been asleep or it just didn't give a shit. But we were fine. We went past and everything was fine. We go for another mile or two. And I don't know what happened, but low hit a side of some land. And I'm trying to regain our balance because, you know, I'm trying to counterweight what, what's happening there because, you know, he waded off to one side too hard. And uh, we, we crash into this land, flipped over again. Lo gets so pissed off. I have never seen Lo so pissed off. He just walks to the side of this land and he decides he's just not going to do it anymore. He got so pissed. He just threw down his paddle and just stood there, put his hand on, hands on his hips. And here I am trying to flip the damn canoe over, trying to get the water out of it. And I'm trying to step back into it. But it's really hard for a person of my weight to step back into this canoe without someone already sitting in it. So I don't want to flip it again. You know, so I got one leg in, one leg out. And my fucking leg is stuck in the water because it's in this really, you know, deep, mushy ground underneath the water. And I'm just trying to get my other foot in and as I'm trying to pick my foot up I'm actually flipping the boat over again so instead of doing that I decide to just fall back into the water and I do this and I get up and then I realize I'm doing the same thing again so I don't want to flip the canoe roll over and you know it's got all our stuff in it so then I just fall back into the water and this just is a repeating process there's some girls passing by in the same in, in another canoe from our same class and they're just laughing at me falling backwards into this damn water with one foot in the canoe and one one foot in the water and I'm just going huh splash huh splash huh splash and it's just really embarrassing and i'm just like would you rather i flip the canoe over again with all our stuff in it or would you rather i fall into the water lo doesn't give a shit my teacher's got his hand over his eyes the girls are laughing at me i finally get back into the canoe and finally the teacher just decides okay it's just gonna it's gonna be me you and lo i'll steer lo you just sit back and we took the longest time to finally get <laughs> to the final desk we finally get there we finally get to the end because by this time we're tired and worn out luckily we had some homemade gatorade but it was just a really funny experience and the boat just the canoe just kept flipping over i got stabbed in the chest we saw a fucking alligator and almost got eaten alive and we almost didn't get to the end because Lo was scared of the damn alligator and we finally get to the end and everybody's just been waiting for like an hour or two for us. And it was just really, 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 really fun. <laughs> even after all the embarrassment, even though I know no one gave a shit about me, I thought that was a really great experience and I will always remember it. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen Chica at the door. <laughs> <laughs>